Okay, um, this is going to be a review on Elementary OS. And I believe it was released this morning or yesterday. And I was really excited for this too because I use a lot of their stuff. The file browser, you know, Nautilus Elementary and their uh, email client. And um, they make good stuff. You know, I, I like what they do. So they uh, basically respun Ubuntu into this. And, um, well, I guess I should say this is Ubuntu. It's, it's, I believe it's 1010. It looks like 1010. Let me check the, uh, software center. Even the software center says Ubuntu on it. So it, it is Ubuntu. So, so yeah, it's, uh, 1010. <sighs> okay. So, with that out of the way, what it comes with is not very much it's a little bit different you know it looks a lot different um they took out a lot and they replaced it with a lot of their stuff and um that's a good thing you know i like it it makes things a lot easier it's real simplified it's, they basically took out a lot of stuff that that i don't really use and added stuff that i do use so i see that as a positive thing and that would be the email client and you know well except for one thing and that would be the office apps like i do like LibreOffice but they use Abbey Word and Genomeric and they're both excellent programs you know I've used them before in the past and there's nothing wrong with them but um one thing that I found kind of funny was that the uh you know LibreOffice and OpenOffice they're they're uh, they're hefty programs they're big but yet the uh the ISO image that I downloaded was still over 600 megs and I was just kind of curious <laughs> where's everything else you know what what else did they add and um and I don't really see anything really. There's no uh, photo editor except for Shotwell. There's no GIMP. You know, there's a. Uh, they took out Evolution, but they still have Empathy. And there's not even a, a uh, jukebox, um, a music player. It doesn't have that. You know, so that's kind of odd. So I'm just wondering, you know, what happened. <laughs> Well, anyways, one thing that kind of stuck out right away when I first, you know, looked at it appearance-wise is the upper panel, and I noticed right off the bat there's uh, no shadow, and I noticed this on the Unity as well, and I right -clicked, I right-clicked on the panel and clicked about panels. It uh, it says it's the GNOME panel, so I don't know why there's not a drop shadow, but you know that's just cosmetic. But I'm just wondering, you know, why isn't it there? Maybe it's uh, something I don't know about. Also, when I notice when I right-click, there's no add to panel either. And there's a lot of things you can't do with the panel as well. As far as uh, moving stuff around, it's locked down. You can't move anything. You can't remove anything. And uh, with it being Ubuntu, I'm sure, you know, of course, you can you can add all that stuff back with a synaptic. You know, just, just add all the programs that you need to reinstall to uh, get your uh, custom ability side back. You know, like the... What was a menu editor and some other one well they're well they're just not there and what else is not there is is uh the system sounds you know when you log in to the, to your desktop there's no sound at all there's nothing no sound themes or anything and another thing another thing that it doesn't do is uh is a uh, right click or highlight like click and highlight folders well let me try something for a second let me uh move a folder out Let me try it again. Nope. Nope, it won't let you do it. So you can't even put folders on the on the desktop. So that's kinda odd. So So there's a lot you can't do with it, which is weird. So I guess their goal is to make things really simple. But usually with, with what I really like about them is it's simple but yet it's still, you know, productive. You know, still uh, you can do a lot. But I guess with the desktop, it's a little bit different. I don't know. Unless there's something I'm not seeing or, you know, something that's disabled I need to enable. But uh, I don't know. All right. On the bottom you see here is a docky. And, of course, it's just a dock. You know, click on it. And it'll launch your application. And just like that. You know, real easy. No big deal. Here's your dictionary. So since you can't click and drag anything, I wonder if you can actually add applications to the dock. 
and no, I guess not. Let me try that again. Let me try with a uh, transmission here. No, that doesn't work either. So, uh, can you remove? Let me take this off. Okay, you can take away from it, but how the hell you add to it? Let me right click down here. Oh, here you go. Pin to dock. So, you have to launch an application, then right click on the actual icon, then pin it. So, that's a little bit different. So, I wonder if you can add your home folder then. Because that would, would be nice. Right click, pin to dock, and close it. Alright, so you can add your home folder. So, that's nice. Let me launch it. Okay, let me try it again. Uh, third time's the charm. Well, I guess not. Never mind. I can't do that then. So, uh, let me see what's uh, what's what else is what can this thing do? Uh, control Alt Left Right. So you can switch your desktops. Okay. How about Super or window key E. Okay, has multiple desktops. Well, let's try this out. Okay, now window key and E. Can I drag it at least? Okay, well, I can do that. Okay. All right, well, um, well, I'm not. Well, let's talk about the web browser then. So it comes with Midori or Green or however you want to call it. And Midori is, you know, it's not Firefox, it's not Chrome. It's built on WebKit, which is good. So it's really fast. As far as customability side of it, this, the customize side, uh, you know, I don't think it has extensions, but I could, I could be wrong. Let me see. Uh, side panel. All right, let's try this. And what's over here? So it does have some type of uh, extensions here. History list, mouse gestures. So it does have some some extensions, but nothing like I would I would imagine mainstream. You know, like you know, like that you would get in a uh, you know Google Chrome or uh, Far or uh, Firefox or even a uh, Opera. But it does match the desktop pretty nice. You know, it it looks good. <laughs> Well, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. As far as uh, installing uh, elementary, if you're familiar with uh, Ubuntu, it's the exact same thing. Other than uh, cosmetic wise, you know, it has its own little look to it, you know, the wallpaper and uh, the theme. But if you know how to install Ubuntu 10.10 or whatever, it's, it's the same thing. However, it does not have Wubi. So it is a live CD. You can, you can, you know, boot off the CD and, and uh, Take it for a test drive, but um, you cannot install it, you know, via Wubi. You know, you can't do that. So you have to actually commit to it and, you know, do a, a dual boot, you know, partition your hard drive. You have to, you have to do that to get this thing going. Uh, so I guess mm, if I were to give it some, give it a, give it some thought, I guess it's. I wouldn't use it personally. That's be, that's just a personal thing because I already know how to you know add my own stuff and and uh, the PPAs and whatever and and customize it to the way I want to have it. And when I see this, it's it's pretty much like locked down kind of a thing. And if you don't know how to unlock everything with the you know the package manager and and the config editor and stuff like that then you'll be kind of at a loss you know you'd be kind of like scratching your head you know well how do I do this and how do I do that you know but then again you know they have I guess uh, the initiative to try something different you know and and that's what they're doing and I, I'm really eager to see what they're gonna do next and I'm sure it's gonna be good hopefully um, if I had to recommend another distro besides this one that it's similar to this one it would be Moon OS, and Moon OS is based on Ubuntu like this, and uh, they have the elementary file browser like this, and they use Docky like this, 
but it's not as locked down like this one so this is you know give it a try you know you may like it you may not but other than that it's it's okay <laughs> well all right well that's it for this video so uh thanks for watching and if i figure if i see anything different or if i run into anything like that's like wow like that's so cool on this thing i'll make another video about it or or i'll post a comment or something or you know whatever but um other than that that's pretty much it for the video so uh thanks for watching